we need to talk about Wayland and screensavers, not screen lockers. They are often combined, but they are two distinct functions. Now, a screen locker is the thing that actually locks your system, typically when the system goes to sleep or you tell the system to lock. You come back, you re-enter your password, and now you're back on your desktop. On Linux, this is done through what we call a display manager. Why we call it that? Whole another topic, but it's the display manager. Now a screensaver are those graphical pipes that are generating all around your screen. Flying toasters, colours flying all over. During the days of CRT, they served an actual real function, stopping a permanent discoloration of the display by leaving static elements when the system is unattended. When we look at things like Plasma and OLED, they have a similar sort of problem. Physically, it's a little bit different, but functionally, it's just as annoying. On other display tech, there can be this temporary ghosting if an element is static on the screen for too long. But in all but the most extreme cases, this is very much temporary and tends to just resolve itself. So a screensaver in those cases is very much just like a nice fancy thing to have if that's your thing. When we talk about screensavers on Linux, yeah, there are a couple of options. But really, the discussion revolves around X screensaver. And X screensaver is one of those applications that simply does not function correctly on Wayland when running it through X Wayland. One of the main issues is when you stop the screensaver, it doesn't take you to the lock screen of your Wayland desktop. Instead, it takes you to a lock screen inside of X Wayland, which is obviously not what you're intending for it to do. Also, you can't have it work alongside your Wayland lock screen. So if you're running, say, Plasma, you lock your desktop, you can't have X Screensaver run in X Wayland as, like, a visual thing while your system is locked. Whereas over on the Xorg side, you can use X Screensaver to do the locking and have all of that work as conveniently as you'd expect it to work. Now, a couple of weeks ago, JWZ, the developer of X Screensaver, put out this blog called Wayland and Screensavers. This is a great blog post explaining sort of the technical challenges, how it works on Windows, how it works on macOS, how it works on Xorg, and how he would like it to work on Wayland, improving upon the Xorg model. Now, this is a great read, but the problem is I've seen a lot of people misinterpret this as screensavers don't work on Wayland. Wayland doesn't support screensavers. That, at a surface level, is technically correct, but it's nowhere near that simple. Now, WROOT is a little bit different here, and I'll get to that in a moment, but when we're talking about GNOME and KDE, arbitrary applications are not allowed to interact with your screen locking. Unlike the X11 side, on the Wayland side, the display manager is a core part of your Wayland compositor. Now, it might be a core part that is a separate binary, but it's a separate binary that is intrinsically linked with your compositor. It is not a pluggable solution. So if you don't like the display manager that's available on your desktop, find a new desktop. Now, you could just have an application that when your system was going to go to sleep, it becomes the main focus of your desktop, and that's effectively a screensaver. It's not like a real screensaver, but it mostly does the job. If you want to have an actual screensaver, though, one of two things would need to happen. Firstly, provide a means for the screensaver to hook into the same code paths used by the display manager, such that when the system goes to sleep and the display manager locks the screen, a screensaver can appear on top of the screen locker, and then when the mouse is moved and the screensaver goes away, then the display manager can handle all the authentication to get you logged back into the system. That would probably be pretty difficult to convince them of, because that sounds like a new Wayland protocol. And as we've seen from Wayland protocols, especially when they're supposed to be cross-desktop, they go... well, we'll say. Very well. And the second option is implement screensavers in the compositor. Now, this is going to involve either 
convincing the developers that screensavers are important, or at least important enough they should be worked on, or you making a merge request, and then convincing them that it's important enough to merge, all I have to say here is, good luck. Now, this is not from a developer of a desktop, but I do have a statement from the Fedora project lead. I loved X Screensaver back in the day, but fundamentally, their time is gone. To save screens in 99.9999% of situations, the screen should just be going to sleep to conserve power, and for most of those, so too should the rest of the system. Yeah, this is not the most fun option. As JWZ says, why is there no joy in your heart? But, you have to admit, he is right. You don't need a screensaver. It's a lot better to just sleep the screen. And especially considering the power price in some places, like, I probably want to be sleeping the screen as well. Especially for those people that like to leave their systems on basically all the time. Is there any reason to have flying toasters on your screen for eight hours overnight? No. It's probably better in that case to just sleep the screen. For those of you who are using GNOME or KDE, this is not a problem with Wayland, it is entirely a fault with your desktops. Take it up with your desktop if you want to see a screensaver, because inside the Wayland protocols, there is a solution that is used by WL Roots. WL Roots, unlike the other options, is a generic library for implementing a Wayland compositor. As such, it wouldn't really make any sense to have a generic WL Roots display manager. Different desktops are going to want to do different things. Some of them might want to use the KDE and GNOME model and have a display manager in their own environment. Others might want to make use of the XDG session lock protocol. Prior to this protocol, there were pluggable screen lockers on WL Roots desktops. The problem is they often didn't work properly. There were ways to circumvent them. There was no proper integration with the compositor, so it didn't really do its job. It was like a visual screen locker, but it didn't serve the function that you would generally expect them to have. This allows you to securely lock the compositor like you'd expect on GNOME, like you'd expect on Plasma, like you'd expect over on the X11 side as well. But this isn't a perfect solution. You can implement a display manager that does both screen locking and screen saving. What you can't do is have a dedicated screen locker and a dedicated screen saver. Which led the X screen saver developer to say, there is no sane reason to perpetuate the old model where screen savers have to read passwords and talk to Pam. Authentication belongs in the display manager. It's already there since they already have implemented screen locking. Not using the same code path would be madness. On the X11 side, X screen saver does also do the screen locking aspect as well. But he agrees that this is not the way that it should be done. That should be the job of the display manager, the thing that is already there doing the screen locking. There shouldn't be additional things that try to make that work just for the sake of having screensavers. And Wayland is a chance to make that right if, this is a big if, if people still actually care about screensavers. And going back to what Matt said, I just don't see that being the case. Screensavers are a neat gimmick, like say, the cube, or burning windows, or all these fun things we had in the earlier days of Linux. And they're neat, and I'm sure they still have their fans. But none of the developers involved now really care about this functionality, and for most people it seems like it's pretty much fallen out of fashion. I know there are still people that care about screensavers, but Honest question, how many of you actually use a screensaver? Not you care about screensavers, actually use a screensaver on your system. At least amongst my audience, it looks like this. Take that for whatever it's worth. So X screensaver could absolutely work on Wayland, at least in the WL Roots context, if the developer wanted to turn it basically into a full-on display manager. But as it stands, 
that's probably not going to happen, and screensavers on Linux are probably just going to fade into the pages of history. Once again, make sure you go and read that JWZ blog, it's a great read, and I'm sure you're going to learn something. So, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Are you a screensaver fan? Do you actually use a screensaver? I would love to know. And if you like the video, go like the video. And if you really like the video, and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe, silly bear, pay link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and...